Where is my wood? My contract provides I be supplied with all my firewood. I am waiting since November for a stick, and even in November I had to show my frostbitten hand like some London beggar. You're allowed six pounds a year to buy your wood, Mr. Paris. I regard that six pound as part of my salary. I am paid little enough without I spend six pound on firewood. Sixty plus six for firewood. The salary is 66 pounds, Mr. Proctor. I am not some preaching farmer with a book under my arm. I am a graduate of Harvard College. I am well instructed in arithmetic. I go. <clears throat> Mr. Corey, you will look far for a man of my kind at 60 pounds a year. I am not used to this poverty. I left a thrifty business in the Barbados to serve the Lord. I do not fathom it why I am prosecuted here. I cannot offer one proposition, be there a howling riot of argument. I have often wondered if the devil be in it somewhere. I cannot understand you people otherwise. Mr. Paris, you were the first minister ever did demand the deed to this house. Man, don't a minister deserve a house to live in? To live in, yes. But to ask ownership is like you shall own the meeting house itself. The last meeting we were at, you spoke so long on deeds and mortgages. I thought it were an auction. I want a mark of confidence is all. I am your third preacher in seven years. I do not wish to be put out like the cat whenever some majority feels the whim. You people seem not to comprehend that a minister is the Lord's man in the parish. A minister is not to be so lightly crossed and contradicted. Can we speak minute without we land in hell? I'm tired of hell. It is not for you to say what is good for you to hear. I may speak my heart, I think. Quakers, we are not Quakers here yet, Mr. Proctor, and you may tell that to your followers. My followers? There is a party in this church. I am not blind. There is a faction and a party. Against you? Why, then I must find it and join it. I have a crop to sow and lumber to drag home. What do you say, guys? Let's find this party. I've changed my opinion of this man, John. Mr. Pierce, I beg your pardon. I never thought you had so much iron in you. Why, thank you, Giles. It suggests to the mind what the trouble be among us all these years. Think on it. Wherefore is everybody suing everybody else? Think on it now. It's a deep thing, dark as a pit. I've been at court six Why times. Why not say you good morning without you clap him as defamation? You're old, guys, and you're not hearing his John reason. Proctor, I have only last month collected four pound damages for you publicly saying I burned the roof off your house, and I... <laughs> I never said no such thing, but I've paid you for it. I hope I can pay you death without charge. Now come on, guys, help me drag my lumber home.